Hey guys, welcome to yet again another exit sign setup. So I decided to change out the units and this is exit signs out of 11. Now, I was originally going to do another theme, but since I had three signs, which I decided to do a dual light theme. So for today's, so starting above on my door, we have my direct view LED or yeah, this is Hubble, but dual light rebrands this. So it counts and this is what yeah it's above my door right here and plus this is probably the dimmest sign i put up above my door since this this makes the lqm third generation dim like bright go down here below the chest we have my ac only eve now if you're going to get an eve get a battery backup version since those things since those are better and going over up here, we have one of my favorite units, the Dual Light LX here. And yes, this faceplate gets dim while I'm battery backup. I don't know the reason why. The battery's probably not charged all the way, so yeah. And by the way, here's uh, yeah, here you can see if you see this, it's quality. And now uh, I think Presco Light actually has rebranded this with a different faceplate plate they're also good units the presco light nova series which you can find at low with well not at lowe's but you can see at lowe's what they usually install install until presco light became an up an obscure brand and obsolete now let's go into emergency mode so we're now in emergency mode you can see the ac led the green ac led is now off and it's not on and you can see here is the uh, LX doing its job. The direct view, oh, you can even see it for the frame, but um, the direct view is down, and it kind of looks a little creepy when I try to, yeah. And over down here I have my EV, EVC, well, my e EVE. Sorry, um, I'm getting a little confused between EVC and EVE. But though, this is not it for the video. There's more to this video than you may think it is. So I'm going to be plugging in the LX. You can see, you're going to see. Yep, it's back on. And you're going to see this turn on. And finally, the, the, frick, the direct view. Yeah. Now... Now, for exit sign collectors, I'm going to give you a little tip on dual light. Now, if you're going to buy dual light sign, go. I recommend this one the best. This this unit here is great. The app. This is one of my favorite units of all time, and it deserves to be my favorite unit of all time. Yeah, the LXs are great. Get them if you can find one for cheap. I got this for fifteen dollars free shipping. I got this one, I think, for $15, whatever. I'm not sure. I forgot. And this one was just a gift, and it was more than the money. Whatever. So, now, with dual lights, dual light can be expensive on eBay a lot, a lot of times. So, if you're going to get a dual light sign, get try to get an exit-only sign for cheap or whatever. Now, yeah, or the EVE. The uh, the signs I recommend are the LX and the EVE, and maybe the Easy Snap, Snap, and all that stuff. Signs I would in emergency lights that I like to recommend is the EVHC, which I don't have, which are commonly used in WalMarts. Marts. Um, the EV and the LZ and the EZ2 or the EG2 if you can find one for good price. So. Yeah, um, for combination units, go go buy EVC or the LT. LTs are hard to find. So our LTs are not that common on eBay, so you're probably better off getting an EVC. And for signs, I re now for units I recommend after is like the dual light exquisites. The exquisites are good signs. If I recommend them, if you can try to find one for a good price, there's the exquisites. The Dual light, so yeah. 
Also, the Accelibers are good signs, also, and the dual, and also there's the Dual ALC, which is basically a fancier version of the LX, and it looks a lot nicer than the LX, personally, but, yeah, who knows, this could be an LC, but highly doubt it. And then, if you really love direct the LED, go ahead and buy yourself a Freedom Series, or a Hubble Freedom Series, because those signs are good. Good. Now, um, and also, if you are an exit sign collector who does not have a dual light sign, you should get one before you, you should get one, since dual light, dual light would be best. They actually care about quality, unlike Lithonia, which created the monstrosity of the LHQM LED and the crappy, and the poorly mounting bracket of the LQM. Yeah, I have that, so, yeah. Anyways... Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching this exercise setup, and hopefully I'll have my other unit coming pretty soon. And plus the other unit I'm going to be having is actually another good unit. And see you guys next time, and this is somebody with the next sign signing out.